Elon Musk has said that Tesla's Optimus robot, it will be deployed in Tesla's factories within the next 12 months. Uh, Tesla are currently hiring staff to integrate it into the workforce, which is seems surprising. I'm guessing Tesla are expecting some big upgrades on its software soon and its you know, ability to do things within uh, factory production lines. However, the cost, how much is it gonna cost? Everyone's been wondering this. I mean, obviously Tesla plans on taking over a significant percentage of the global labor force. This is a much bigger market than selling cars, way, way bigger. The Tesla Optimus robot will cost less than half the price of a car. So what does that mean? Well, here's what I think. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Um, Elon Musk says that Optimus, Tesla's general purpose humanoid robot, will cost less than half the price of a car. I'm going to say I believe that'll mean it'll cost around $20,000. But to manufacture, I believe Elon Musk is referring to the manufacturing costs. Manufacturing costs of a Tesla Model 3 in, say, China, I believe are approximately $25,000, which would mean the manufacturing cost of the Optimus robot could be around twelve to $13,000 US dollars. Now, this is just my guess, to be honest, but that's what I believe would be approximate the, the approximate cost to manufacture. Now, one day, eventually, it'll be much, much cheaper than that. But you need to be mass producing them. You know, I can imagine Tesla having a factory of Optimus robots um, where it's producing, you know, one robot every 10 seconds. They're just coming through this mass produced factory production line. Uh, they're, you know, walking themselves out into a Tesla vehicle, uh, maybe a Tesla van or a Tesla truck or a Tesla semi. They're all piling into the back of a Tesla semi. The Tesla semi then drives them around to a Ford and General Motors car plant where they get out of the plant and they start their new jobs, um, replacing the staff working at that car plant. Sounds very dystopian, doesn't it? But let's be real here, guys. This could happen. What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments. A few months ago, Tesla unveiled Optimus Gen 2, which is a new generation of its humanoid robot that should be able to take over repetitive tasks from humans. Now, a lot of people have said lately, the Tesla's dojo, its um, its AI, its software, is much better than what we realize. And Tesla say they're no longer compute constrained with um, being able to basically absorb data from their fleet of cars. Uh, so if they're no longer compute constrained, they have the one of the biggest computers in the world, which we believe they might actually have the biggest computer in the world. That's what Tesla was saying that they were building. And this could be very scary because a robot can only do what its brain can do, can function for. I mean, realistically, in my opinion, the most important and crucial part of building the Tesla bot is the software, right? The neural network. And Tesla has a lot, many, many years of experience working on neural networks. In addition to that, if you look at the speed, the acceleration in the improvements in Tesla's full self-driving over the past two months, uh, they have rapidly it has rapidly changed recently. The new Tesla bot showed a lot of improvements compared to previously underwhelming versions of the robot, and it gave a bit of credibility to the new Tesla bot. Now, a lot of people laughed it off when it first came out. Uh, it was a visual aid only a few years ago, and Tesla, I don't believe, were trying to pretend it was anything else than that. They were saying, you know, we're just starting development. But Tesla believed, and still do, that it's possible to use their work in artificial intelligence particularly on their self-driving vehicles and on Dojo or their neural network in order to um, basically train this robot to become like a genius robot that's capable of working in factories and doing almost every job. Tesla want to combine the neural network with their expertise in batteries and electric motors to create what would be um, a rival to China's robots, and China are working on them right now. In fact, BYD now has robots in its workforce working on these car production lines, and Tesla know that's what they have to compete with. Tesla argued that its vehicles are already robots on wheels, and a lot of people agree with that. Now, Tesla may need to make these humanoid robots capable of replacing humans, because this would enable Tesla to build $25,000 EVs at very big profits. Now, Tesla does want to make 10 million EVs a year 
and make almost nothing in profit. They want to make big profits. The biggest way to do this, get rid of their staff. Now, most staff do repetitive tasks. There's also dangerous tasks. Really ideal to have a robot take those positions. In a previous update on Optimus, Tesla CEO Elon Musk said that the Optimus stuff is extremely underrated. The CEO said that the demand could be as high as 10 to 20 billion units. He even said he is confidently predicting that Optimus will account for a majority of Tesla's long-term value. So a majority of the company's value over the long term won't be its EVs, won't be its batteries, uh, won't be energy storage, won't even be full self-driving. It's going to be the Tesla bot. And that's why I believe Tesla is now investing uh, the majority of its resources, it's pivoting away from just focusing on cars towards focusing possibly even more on robotics. Tesla sees everyone having a Tesla Optimus at robot at home on top of them taking over a lot of manufacturing and service jobs. What do you think? Could this happen? Now, I'm seeing it this way, guys. Tesla sells a bot to everyone or to lots of places, but you pay to rent it or it's a service or you pay on depending on the ability of its software what it will do for you all these different levels of um, service like having you know netflix where you have dual hd screens or one hd screen etc that kind of thing for this to work um, the robot has to be priced within a budget that people can afford or it has to be incredibly functional in other words it could replace, I mean, think about it. If a robot can replace a person and the robot can work, say, 24 hours a day, then, yeah, I mean, that's that's going to be very, very valuable. Now, Musk was asked this on Twitter. Someone said this, a humanoid robot is less than a tenth the weight of a car. Can the manufacturing ramp be 10 times that of a vehicle? Does that even matter? Seems like the constraint is going to be software capability, not manufacturing capability. And the must respond to that saying complexity per unit of mass is much higher with humanoid robots, but I still think it ends up costing less than half that of a car. So very interesting here, complexity per unit mass is much higher with a humanoid robot than with an electric car. And basically Elon Musk is saying, actually, a robot's more complex in a lot of ways to build than an EV is. That's quite interesting. Tesla has been listing a lot of jobs for its robot program lately, as I mentioned before. Um, some of them are to integrate work, like, basically integrate its robots into the workforce. This is um, the future. I mean, are they coming to take our jobs? I think, it, I think it's gonna happen. And this is why Elon Musk is saying there needs to be a minimum basic income. So, you know, will this happen? It's like everyone being on, on uh, the doll or food stamps or you know some sort of uh, weekly payment i don't like that idea and what do you guys think let me know in the comments and thank you for watching